Hey guys, I'm not saying and welcome to my second episode of the series I call International Squad. But before I get into this, I want to say the name of it is actually changing. I was on a forum and someone suggested that I should call it Building the Nation. So it will now be known as Building the Nation. The guy who actually suggested it was called Claudio Marquis here on the forum. Just thought I'd give him a little shout out and a thank you for the new series name. Now getting into this episode, the team I'm going to be building for you guys is a nice. Nigerian squad. So I've decided to do this because you know I wanted to try something different. I didn't want to go for all the obvious choices because you know not a lot of people be covering African teams that they're doing here. I also want to use players like MNEK and things like that, which is why I'm building this team. And to tell the truth, guys, I really do hope that it works out and the team performs because as you can see with the defense, it's all silver, so it's gonna be tricky to manage. But hopefully, you know, hopefully things work out. So when I started building this team, I really didn't know, you know, what to go with. I just wanted to try a bunch of new players. So you probably see a lot of silvers as I'm building this squad. And I'm not gonna lie, you know, some of the players that I have up front, as you soon see, they look freaking godly. I think I managed to fit MNUK in here. And MNUK is just a tank of a player. Hopefully when we get in game, he can actually score for us. And hopefully he actually performs well. He's one of the players I'm actually looking forward to using when I get into the game. And Martins as well, which you see me put into the team now. This is the complete team. And I've got with the 3 5 2 formation. Mainly because with any other formation we fought the back. I can't reach anywhere near 99 chemistry and I want the team to get to 99 chemistry so I can perform well with it. So as my keeper I've got Vincent Inyema. I chose him mainly because he's got 90 reflexing and 81 handling. I saw that and I saw his price only 700 pounds and I thought why not. My first centre back here is Ambrose. You probably saw him in the World Cup if you watch Nigeria play. And yeah, he plays for Celtic. I bought him because of the 77 physical and 73 pace. He's one of the decent looking centre backs from Nigeria. And that's why I got him. Next to him we have Oboa Bona. I think that's how you pronounce it. I chose this guy as well because he had decent looking stats. 77 physical there and the 76 pace. It was annoying because they went for 2,500 coins because they were literally like 5 to 6 of them in the market. Next to him we have Ameru and once again I chose this guy because of his pace. He's a 69 overall, he's 6 foot 1 as well so I thought it would come to good use when I was playing with the team. My CDM is Mikel. I am a Chelsea fan so I was actually happy to put him in there. Apart from Mikel, you know, there's no other really good CDMs. I chose him because he is 88 physical and to be honest he's got only good Nigerian CDM. I chose this guy as a CDM as well because I wanted someone to back up Mikel. There wasn't many other good CDMs and I put this guy there because he's 6 foot and he's got that 78 physical. Moving on in my right mid position, I chose Moses and I put him there mainly because he had 84 pace, 80 dribbling, and he looked like a decent player to put on the right wing position or right mid position, should I say. And he's got that 4 star weak foot and 4 star skill move, so I thought that would come in handy within an in game situation. Moving on to the left mid position, I chose this guy Igbon and I mainly chose him because I saw that he had an informed card, so I really wanted to try out the silver card. I saw his 92 pace and his card, 74 physical, and I thought that would be good for a left mid. That's why I decided to throw him on the team. In the camp position, I put Uche. This guy's originally a striker, but I put him in the camp position because I wanted to make way for the two strikers that I have up front. And um, he's got 86 pace, 80 dribbling, and 74 physical. I also put him there because of his 78 shot, so hopefully he can get some goals when we get into the game. My first striker here is Obi Femi Martins. Now I'm really excited to use this guy. He only cost me 850 coins, but I chose him because he's 93 pace and he's 5 star weak foot. So hopefully, you know, he'll be a player you see scoring in the game. And finally, the main man, the guy you guys probably be waiting to see me kind of talk about, is Emin 
Now, I chose him because there's so much speculation going around the game that he is a tank of a player. I thought that 88 pace, 83 physical, and I thought, why not? He's also got high to low attack into defensive work rate, so I thought he would be really good in this day up a lot. He's got that 4 star weak hit, 3 star skill moves, he cost me 5.6k coins, and for that price, I think I got him quite cheap. So hopefully, you know, when we get in game, he scores a few goals and performs well. Now, once again, this is the full team. As you can see, it looks pretty decent. The defense looks like it's going to be a bit of a problem. As it doesn't look the strongest and I've only got three at the back. But hopefully, we can perform well and pull off a win. And yeah, with that being said, let's jump into a game. So this is the team I'm going to be playing against. Looks like a sweaty BPL with only Carol up front. He's actually got informed Milner, so hopefully this should be a good game. Okay, he's got kickoff, so he's gonna be starting things up here. Let's see what we can do. And you know, it would be really good if we could kick off now. This guy just taking a sweet time. There we go. Kickoff is on the go. I know this guy has got strength. I know. Cut and shoot. 1-0 already, MNEK has scored, this guy, he is actually a beast, MNEK chips it to Uche I think, Uche shoots, bang, and Uche gets it in, I see him scoring for days, Uche again, there we go, 3-0, right, it's half time guys, and somehow this guy's got 57% of the ball, like, how is his possession that high, I've got 7 shots on target, three goals obviously and nine shots where he's only got one shot on target and two shots so I don't know how he's got 57% ball position either way I'm winning and hopefully we can carry on playing the way we're playing and let's jump into the second half oh that should be it oh L what a pass ball Emanike receives receives finesse that bang and Emanike puts in his second goal of the game I will take that 4-0, 81st minute, great game. So yeah guys, this is the end of the game. This team performed much, much better than I expected. Pulled up a 4-0 win. Uh, the only thing I'd say if you're building this team is make sure you use a 3-5-2 formation because this allows you to get your chemistry as high as possible. Therefore, your team can perform to the best of their abilities. In this game, you know, pulled off a good win. I was happy with MNEK's performance. Man of the match was Uche and he damn right deserves it. He got a couple of good goals in the game and overall it was a great result. If you enjoyed this episode make sure to drop a like as I do really appreciate the support. Subscribe if you are new to make sure you don't miss out on any episodes of this series and for today this is T-Max signing out. Thanks for watching guys and see ya. As you can see here I've got a Colombian kit. Hopefully this guy changes because I really want to use this kit. Come on, there we go, the guy's changed his kit so we can now use the Colombian kit.